instead of taking any big equipment with me, I simply took a sketchbook with the determination that I would do one painting every day, which would record the events of the day. Um, and that worked out, it certainly worked out that I did do a painting every day. It, some days were more difficult than others, because some days you're actually, you have to be rafting the river for eight or nine hours, in which case it doesn't leave a great deal of time to paint. Other days are shorter and you get more time. And the other difficulty uh, is that you really have very little choice of what you're going to paint, because you're often stranded on some little tiny sandbar somewhere, or some little tiny beach, and you can either look up the river from here or you can look down the river from there, and that's it. Those are the choices. And so that meant that I had to make work that actually worked, if you know what I mean, um, without having a great deal of choice. Uh, and so those were the constraints, and in some ways that, that helped, I think, because the series is, is a very, very tight series. It worked out beautifully because, because all the paintings, you know, they are the size they should be. Uh, they, all of them have a coherence about them in that they... One seems to follow naturally from another. Um, and the other difficulty, of course, is, is that if you set yourself to do that, then it's no good having 15 good paintings and one dud, because you've only got one a day. And if the one you do is, is rubbish, then you're in real trouble. So, of course, the tension mounts, really. The longer you go down and you've done eight that are good, and is nine, 10, 15 that are good, you know, is the 16th going to be terrible? In which case, the whole project is blown apart. But anyway, luckily, it, it, that didn't happen, and, and the paintings worked out pretty well.